A very good morning from Pattaya in Thailand. It is Sunday the 3rd of September, around about 7am at the time of recording. Now, what has happened to Typhoon Saiola and what is happening with a new typhoon, which I just have to check how to pronounce the word very clearly. I think it's going to come up in a moment. Here is a report, first of all, of what it was like, a eyewitness report in English and what's happening uh, with a typhoon which is going to hit Taiwan today. Typhoon Selma left a trail of destruction in Hong Kong as it battered the financial hub Friday into Saturday. A glass panel fell from an office building, water gushed from broken pipes, and fallen trees were strewn over numerous roads. Businesses, schools, and financial markets were shut as Hong Kong imposed its highest hurricane storm signal 10 on Friday night. One resident, Marianne Bray, described how the storm felt at its worst. The wind is absolutely ferocious. Um, the closest uh, reading is uh, on an island next to us, which is around 140 kilometers an hour. So um, in the village where I live, we've had air cons blow off, roofs, um, doors, um, so it's actually, we, we came home, uh, we were trying to come home before the storm got really bad. It was actually really frightening because um, we thought there were things that were going to fall on us. By early Saturday, authorities downgraded the typhoon warning in Hong Kong. Its normally bustling streets were lined with trees uprooted by strong winds. Super Typhoon Saola was among the strongest storms to hit southern China in decades. After lashing out at Hong Kong, the typhoon made landfall in Guangdong. Floods were seen in Huizhou, and hundreds of thousands were evacuated from high-risk areas. A second typhoon, Haikui, is approaching Taiwan. It's set to hit the island on Sunday before heading to China's province of Fujian. So how is Hong Kong now? Well, you can have a look here. <laughs> And on the southeast coast of China, now that this typhoon has dispersed and weakened, this is the aftermath. But there is a, another typhoon, Typhoon Haikwei, and you can see from the map here, as we go on, it has thunderstorms at 16.8 millimeters, and you can see it's very, very close to the island of Taiwan, and that's going to hit today, Sunday, the 3rd of September, according to the weather forecasts like this. So at the time of recording, the new typhoon that's going to hit Taiwan is going at 140 kilometers per hour. And if we go to Ventsky, to the live map, or to the predicted map over the next coming days, you can see the timeline at the bottom. We're just um, looking at this typhoon very close to Taiwan at the moment. And I could say um, a little bit later today, early tomorrow, this is going to hit mainland China in the area of Sharma, which you may have heard of.
and I will leave you with what has happened over the last couple of days in one particular area in China and again the aftermath of what's happened. This is in mainland China. Thank you so much for your time. If you do have the time, do spare a thought or two for the people who are suffering from this. I'm actually really impressed by the um, the actual architecture or the infrastructure in actually Hong Kong because hardly any serious damage actually happened compared to, I'm sure that we'll see in mainland China where you have the TOEFL dredge kind of buildings, what's going to happen. Regardless of that fact, I will wish you a peaceful Sunday. Thank you.